Equipped with his five senses, man explores the universe around him and calls the adventure science. Things around us aren't always what they seem. In the everyday world, we use a simple scale, ourselves, to know what's small and what's large. But what about the worlds that lie beyond? What is truly large and truly small? To explore, to observe, to understand the wider world we call the universe. This is one of the great human adventures. As we look out at the distant horizon, we may ask ourselves, what is our true place in the universe? We are all travelers on an unending voyage of discovery. More than 25 centuries ago, among the Greek islands, here at the vibrant crossroads of Africa, Asia, and Europe, philosophers began to devise rational theories about the world around them. The wondrous ways and forms of nature, they said, could be understood. One Greek thinker suggested that the Earth actually moved around the Sun. Another taught that everything, the work of man and nature, was made of particles too small to see. Others estimated the sizes of the Earth and the Moon and the distances between them and reasoned that both were spheres. But it would be many centuries before we had the tools to extend our vision and confirm the wisdom of these early thinkers. 
In the meantime, people around the world gazed on the stars and gave them names. Most assumed that the Earth was the center of an unchanging universe. thousand years passed before a revolutionary breakthrough was made by a mathematics professor in the ancient maritime republic of Venice. In 1609, Galileo Galilei demonstrated an instrument that would soon be called the telescope. From the tallest bell towers, he showed that this device could spot approaching ships hours before their sails were visible to the naked eye. Later, when he aimed his telescope at the night sky, Galileo discovered that the moon was a world with mountains. Jupiter had its own moons, and the Milky Way was a band of countless stars. <laughs> 